Hi everyone, this is Jessica Jordan from Field Place Pottery. Uh, back in the studio today, um, I'm glad you could join me. Uh, so what I've done today is I saw something online that I quite fancied having a go at. So I'm going to go through the process and see what it's like more than anything else. So um, you can join in with me if you want to, if you go in the studio um, or if you've got a piece of clay. Um, and let's see what happens. So we're going to make a funny cat, basically. So it's going to be an ornament. And it's made out of a cylinder and I want to see whether it works or not because it looked super easy but these things always look super easy and they're not so uh shall we have a go let's have a go shall we like let's have a look so here I am just down here I'm just sort of turning you down here I don't think you can see that actually let me just adjust you So we can see the slab and then what I've just got is I've got a napkin actually um, that I had lying around. So we want to have a rectangle, rectangle ideally. So what I've got here is I've rolled myself out a piece of clay. Um, it's reasonably thin, but we may need to go slightly thinner. Um, but we will, we will have a look. So yeah, I saw this on Instagram a couple of days ago and I thought I'd got to try that out and see whether I can do that as well. And I love trying out workshops. I think that's the beauty of ceramics is that you can do so much with it. So let's have a look. So here is my rectangle and what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a cylinder. So I'm going to smooth down one side And then I'm going to do the opposite on the opposite side. I've not done this before, so this is completely and utterly new. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, so score up my surface on one. Add a little bit of water. Go over the top to work in my slip. So I don't actually tend to use slip. Um, I tend to use water and then scuff the clay up to make its own slip. And then I'm going to do the opposite on the other side. Smooth that in. Score that into the surface. Like so. And then we're going to pick that up. Make that into a cylinder. Join those two together. Doesn't matter if it doesn't match up. And I'm going to smooth that over. And make sure that's properly new. You can see that I've got my hand on the inside. And what I'm just doing is I'm supporting the inside as I'm sort of bringing it up. And I'm going to do the same on the inside of this as well. So uh, using the end of my tool. So I discovered that these wooden knives are fantastic for pottery tools. Um, so if you see these in any of your costas or anything along those lines, grab a handful. I shouldn't say that really, should I? But a very good little tool. And if you can't afford to buy a tool, you can make your own out of stuff you have around your house. So this is a brilliant one. So this is my knife, toothpick, and I've also got a bamboo um, chopstick that I've actually just sharpened the end. And that's quite a brilliant little tool as well um, to play around with. And turn it towards me. So I'm just making sure that that is really nicely smoothed together. I'm going to turn it over and just make sure that that top part is also done. We're going to cut quite a bit of this out, so um, don't worry about this sort of top being slightly off. So 
So we've got our piece together like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to oblong it slightly and then what I want to do is to push that middle part there and then to push the outside in slightly as well. So we're going in like so. Can you see that? We're doing that. So just pushing that in and I'm going to start pinching that with my fingers and we're going to just slowly work that inwards to the point where they actually come together. So this lady made a funny cat and I loved it. It was really clever, really clever. So we're pretty much at the point. Just having a bit of a play around and then I'm going to use my toothpick now and just pull that clay inwards. And I'm going to do the same over here as well. just to start to get that to come together. Perfect. So let's just start to smooth this over. Job. So I'm going to pinch, pinch that a little bit more, push that part down there. So I'm then going to make my individual legs because it is a cat and she needs four legs. Oh, got a little bit that's come apart. If that happens, I'm going to take a little bit of clay and just pop that on the top, like so, and smooth that in. That's just going to make sure, that's going to safeguard me more than anything else. So again, push down, just moving that clay around a little bit more. And then we're going to make these into little cat paws. Right. Let's smooth that over. I want to try this out because this would be great for the kids to do as well, actually, if I can get it right. So let's have a look. So <laughs> that's what it looks like. And there we go. <laughs> well, that part worked. <laughs> So I'm going to use my chopstick and I'm just going to go down at the bottom there. I've got this support underneath. So put your finger underneath and just pull that together. And I'm just going to make sure that that inside is all together as well. Because the last thing I want to do is to put it into the kiln for it all to come to pieces. And I suppose you could, if you wanted to be really fancy, is to... Uh, some coils of clay in there but I don't think you really need to there's enough clay in here that I can get in there and just put it across making sure that that's all together and then I can go in with a paintbrush again support the underneath and go over a little bit of water and just make sure that that is combined and sealed Perfect. Right, so I think ideally you would most probably allow this to dry out a little bit, just a little bit before you sort of cut. So you do need a pottery knife, ideally. So what we want to do is we're going to, we need a bit for the head. So again, I'm gonna just pull this together at the top, like so, and I want a bit for the head.
I'm just going to go just mark either side and I'm going to take a little bit out and a little bit out here like so. So can you see that? I've just marked it more than anything else and I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposite side like so. And then I'm going to remove So I end up with that. So I'm going to push that part there to meet that part there. Just round that off a little bit round there. And then that going to potentially just pull those together like so to be careful that I'm not um, squidging my feet so what I would most probably do guys is actually give the feet a little bit of a dry before you start doing all of this but they're, they're holding up all right they're holding up okay going to pull that to use my knife again on the bottom of my knife just to pull those two all right I've got to work on the tail because that's going to be just far too thick I'm just squeezing that together. I think I can take a little bit of that out. Just working that. That's better. Right, so I'm just blowing it because I felt I sort of squeezed it a little bit too much there. So if we find that you squeezed it a little bit, just give it a little air in the top and that will help just to push the clay out again. So I'm going to take that back like so. And that looks like a kitty cat tail. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I've got great satisfaction out of doing this at the moment. So we're going to do the same with the top. So the top gets pushed together like so. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take some of that excess clay and start pinching that up. He looks a bit more like a lion, doesn't he? And I suppose you could actually sort of turn this into a dog or a horse or anything along those lines, actually. I think it's one to be sort of played around with. So I'm just going to give that a little bit of a squeeze just to sort of push his face out a little bit more. So we've trapped in air in here, so it does mean that um, I will have to put a hole in here somewhere um, to allow that air to escape. But actually I'm using it at the moment as a way of being able to shape my um, cat. Um, because um, the air is in there, I can then push against the clay. And if I don't like something, I can push against it again. 
and it will help me to re sort of um, form it really. So I'm going to go in just like so. And then I suppose you could actually sort of paint the features on or you can sort of press or add them to the surface. Now I think she painted hers on but I would like so it's not perfect but <laughs> I think I need to work on the face <laughs> But quite good fun to make. Let's have a look. I think we're a little bit of playing around. The face isn't right. Um, but a little bit of playing around, I think we can get this really interesting. So I'm not quite, I don't really quite like the, I don't like the mouth. But it might be quite nice to take a little pinch of clay. Let's have a quick look pinch that in between and then just give them some cheeks. Let's have a look. That's better. And then just cheeks. That's better, isn't it? I like them with the cheeks. <laughs> so happy making, guys. Um, that was my workshop that I've seen on Instagram and I fancied having a go. So I quite like that. I think if I can make these smaller, I think these will make quite nice little hangings or uh, little decorations. Okay, take care guys. All the best. Bye.